And great, Kelly's here. You're not cooking, right? Apparently, I can't cook at all. It took 46 episodes to figure that out. Before we get into the family drama episode 46 last birthday vlog, here's a quick recap of the last family drama. Enjoy. I'm sick to my stomach with the food on this plate. I'm sick to my stomach when you walk in the room, witch. Well, someone passed me the salt. You know Kelly made this, right? That's why I'm only eating the salt. Happy. Mother's Day, everyone. Don't say it back to her. Kelly might stop thinking she a mother. I'm your stepmother. It smells like somebody forgot to bury the dead. What is in this pot? Uh, it's green. So that belongs in the toilet. I thought a pot busted in here. Well, that's okay because I know my great mother-in-law wants some. Uh, Kelly, you ain't my child, but I will take my belt off if you lay a crumb near me, you hear? I don't cuss no more. Don't enable me. I'm back. <laughs> Who cares? I know it's hard sleeping in a bed for two alone, but not today, Charlene. Toothbrush, cause you don't have no hair. My hair is growing back. And yes, the mustache hair is unfortunately thicker than normal. If only the scalp hair would catch up. My scalp is flourishing. When your hair break off, it sounds like somebody splitting dried pasta. It's not flourishing, it's malnourished. There's not much life up there. If your scalp was the earth, there would be 3% land and 97% water. And with your hairless hairline, you look like a black and bald understudy for Tom Selleck. You are rude! The electric slide was an accidental dance created after a dude tripped over your wig. That's rude. When my hair grows back, you ain't gonna be able to say nothing! Without the hair scarf, you look like a patty of bell pie. Hi everybody, it's Tasha, and today's an exciting day because we're getting ready for Renee's special surprise birthday party today. You know what will really surprise Renee? What, Mary? You showing up to the party with bangs? Moving on, everybody is getting ready for the party. Everyone except your hair. Let's go see what Aunt Kathy is doing. How you been? A word? Uh, that that's what we doing? We not gonna speak? I know you wouldn't know anything about raising your son, but when Mom's was doing her job, she wouldn't let me leave the room without saying, uh, hello? A good to see you. A uh, how are you? How was your day? But you? <laughs> hey, you funny, Lily. You <laughs> see your son walking in the room, and you ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> I say all that to say that you should have been raised to speak when spoken to. <laughs> so when I speak to you, you supposed to speak back. <laughs> or maybe your mama didn't raise you with no sense. I want you to do the same thing I did. Die. Lenny? I heard noise. Are you alright? Alright. Don't I look alright? Why wouldn't I be alright? I only wanted to check. Well, you checked, right? You know, Renee's birthday is today, and we're getting things ready for the party. Do you want to help? I'm not going to no party. Leonard, she's your daughter. And the sky is blue, and you can't cook, so what's your point? Wait a minute, what is up with the attitude? Not today, Kelly. Not today, that's what you always say. When is it ever going to be the day, Leonard? I said not today! For better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do part. Too bad those vows are only for marriages and not for individual people. Notify me when you decide to stop giving up on yourself, because right now, I'm questioning why I haven't given up on you. candles on a notebook paper, so I made a quick stop before she burned the house down. Sorry I'm late. I went back to the house to check on something. Great! Kelly's here! You're not cooking, right? Apparently, I can't cook at all. It took 46 episodes to figure that out. So, Natasha, no, I 
not cooking. Okay. But Kelly, what's wrong with you? Nothing, uh, Kathy. What do you need me to do? Stay away from the stove, the food, the dishes, and grab a phone. We need to see how many people are coming to this birthday party. Hello? Uh, hey, Leonard. Hey. Don't worry, I won't hold you for long. I was just calling to see what time you were showing up for Renee's birthday party. Now, I think she would be surprised if- Barbara, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, but um, tell her- uh... Tell Renee a happy birthday from me. No, Leonard. After she finds out about the party, you need to tell her yourself. I got a lot on my plate right now. I understand that, Leonard, but she would at least... I have a lot on my plate, all right? Look, Barbara, I, I didn't... I don't care what you meant, Leonard. And I'm going to tell you one thing. I'm not telling. If you want to treat somebody like a punching bag, then call her. I'm tired and I'm sick of the bullcrap. You pulled the same stuff four years ago, and Renee left her birthday party in tears. I can cut you some slack. Because spiritually, I know you're going through something right now, Lena, but I can't speak for Renee. Your child is not just some job where you can clock in and clock out whenever you want, Lena. I know you haven't went in to be evaluated, and I know Kelly is covering for you. But I was married to you long enough to know that you're avoiding this just like you avoid everything else. Now you have a choice. You could be the father that turns things around, or you could be the one that everyone expects you to be. <laughs> you can't even get it right with the kids that's still alive. <laughs> Dang, you like the, uh, the John Cena of parenting. Kids can't even see you. <laughs> and mom, she don't believe you. <laughs> you a joke, man. But here I am, here to look at the coward of Cali. He don't even know he running around with a sand timer strapped to his chest. Look at you, breathing. <laughs> you feel it? That, that rising and declining in your chest? Those my breaths. That should be my ear. That should be me living. I said I was sorry. You ain't gonna be sorry until you breathe in your last. And time's running out, Leonard. <laughs> no, no. I don't wanna die. Negro, ain't nobody say you had a choice. I ain't no survivors in this. I ain't get no choice. I don't wanna die. You trip. Junior, I, I know you were upset. And, and, and you have a right to be. But I meant what I said. But I told you I loved you. Love, huh? You want to know the messed up part about love, Leonard? While you're experiencing love, in that exact moment, someone else is experiencing pain. Torment. Torture. Love is just another placeholder for pain. It ain't real. Look where love got me. Love killed you. I lost myself trying to chase love. A love that you were too stingy to give. And look where, where love got me. <laughs> Why you ain't looking at me, Leonard? Look where it got me, Leonard. <laughs> look at me. I'm gonna let love take care of you. But let me inform you, Leonard. You better enjoy this love while it lasts. Because you ain't making it out alive. 